Hello everyone, I'm here to delve into a rather intriguing topic that has been making waves in the maritime military arena. Today we're exploring whether the Azmat class fast attack craft poses a real threat to India. Let's navigate through some critical aspects of these craft and what they mean for naval dynamics in the region. First up, let's talk speed and maneuverability. The Azmat class vessels are essentially the sports cars of the sea, with the ability to hit speeds up to 35 knots. That's about 65 kilometers per hour for landlubbers. These boats are not just fast, they're furious. They have a range of around 800 nautical miles. For context, that's farther than the distance from Mumbai to Goa and back. Now, onto their armament. These crafts are not just about speed, they pack a serious punch. Equipped with surface-to-surface -surface missiles, anti-aircraft guns and torpedoes, they can engage both naval and land targets at moderate ranges. Some might even carry mines or operate small boats for special operations. It's like having an entire action movie arsenal on a speedboat. But what about their sensors? While the specifics aren't as clear as we'd like, we can assume they have a suite similar to other modern patrol crafts. This includes radar, sonar, and electro-optical systems. Not quite the sci-fi level tech, but effective enough to spot trouble before it spots them. Stealth features are also part of the package. Though the exact details are hush-hush, reducing radar cross-section and acoustic signatures helps these little beasts sneak around more effectively. It's like playing hide-and-seek, but with high stakes and on the high seas. Now no craft is without its Achilles heel, and the Azmat class is no exception. Their lighter build means they might not hold up well against heavier artillery or guided missiles. Plus, their smaller size means they can only carry so much fuel and ammo, which could limit their endurance and operational flexibility. It's a bit like going on a long road trip with only a half tank of gas and a few snacks. So, is the Azmat class a threat to India? Well, like any good strategist will tell you, it's all about context. These fast attack crafts could exploit weaknesses through surprise and rapid movement. For Indian naval planners, understanding these capabilities is crucial to developing effective countermeasures. In short, while Azmat class crafts are formidable, they are just one piece of the maritime puzzle. Knowing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses is key, and in this high-stakes maritime chess game, every move counts. There you have it, folks. Whether you're a military enthusiast or just love a good game of strategy, the dynamics of modern naval warfare are as fascinating as they are complex. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of military tech and tactics. Until next time, keep watching and keep questioning. Over and out.